Hi, I'm Stephen Stokes with Remax Realty Team. This is a great home I'm gonna show you. It's priced at a million dollars. I believe it could be negotiated. If you have funding, um, take a good look at this home. If you're looking for sailboat access out to the open water, right down by the Yacht Club area and out to open water in minutes, I mean, 10 minutes to get out, this is going to be it. Um, it's a little dated, but it's got good bones, as they say. Eastern exposure, uh, this is the morning I'm gonna show it. We're gonna see the, the sun right on the pool. It's got 90 degree breakaway sliders, open concept, lots of space. I really like this house. And I think that if you're looking for golf access, Cape Coral waterfront in the Yacht Club area with just minutes to get out, no bridges, <laughs> really take a look at this. This is not gonna last. And if you're interested, reach out, 239-645-2405. Let's have a look. Okay, like I said, I really like this house. 2006, three bedroom, plus a den, two bathroom. This is a turnkey, super quick sailboat access home. It's got tile throughout, cathedral ceilings, granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, 90 degree sliders, open floor plan, Jack Jill bathroom. I mean, this was the house was maintained by the original owner since it was built by Aranda Homes in 2006. They were premier builders in 2006. Let's have a look. So you walk in and you get this big open feel that I just love. And to your right, we've got a massive den. You see that window on the top of the doors? That's an extra bonus that lets more light in there. Keeps this this office space super bright. Plus look at the size of that window. You'll notice the tile runs throughout the entire home. These big, big tiles. Looks great. So we'll scoot in here and we'll see our first bedroom. Again, those beautiful big windows. This is the beginning of the Jack Jill bathroom setup. So we've got a sink uh, right here, and a vanity, and a door that goes into the kitchen area, which is pretty interesting. And then we have a storage closet behind that. We have a slider door here that opens up into the toilet area with your tub and shower, and a great door that opens up to the outside that we'll look at later with a walkway that goes all the way around to the, to the waterfront. Here's your second bedroom, nice big double closet, bright, opens up into the kitchen area. We've got a nice breakfast nook area here, separate. And again, there's the beginning of those beautiful 90 degree sliders that we'll look at in a minute. They let in so much light, vaulted ceilings, right? Or cathedral ceilings, I think is the proper name of those. Of course, we got granite countertops. And again, this was built in 2006 by one of the top builders in 2006, Randa Homes. They did a great job on these on these these builds. There's a pantry. Nice little workspace here. Of course, that's a custom built in cabinet there on the left. Those were very popular. There's another one of those extras they put in. They put that window in on top of the door for more light. Here's the main bedroom, high ceilings, huge closet. And then we've got this bathroom. I wasn't sure about it. And then when I saw that it had a, what I call a turret shower, I immediately fell in love with it. I love these showers. You walk in one end, it's nice and open and bright. You go around and come out the other end. I just love those, those showers. I have one in my own home. Lots of cabinetry here. Of course, we have two sinks opposite each other. Yes, there is a nice jetted soaking tub there, you can see. Big closet space. And I mean, yeah, there's a mirror door. It's a little dated, but these are minor things. You can really make this into something a little more modern if you want. But I mean, I like all the mirrors. I like the glass. I'm not a, I have no problem with that. 
Here's your water closet, just tucked away where it should be. Let's take one last look at this, this main bed bathroom. I, I just, I like it a lot. I like the layout. And I, I like having that tub um, in front of the shower like that. I just like the look. All right, let's head out and look at the garage before we go down to the waterfront. Got a nice big area here for your washer dryer. This is a double garage. Just a normal double garage, nothing spectacular to see out here. You see they put a screen door on it so then they can open it in the winter and let the wind, I guess, blow through. Okay. So these are 90 degree breakaway sliders, which means that they, I'm not going to do it right now, but they open up like this all the way back and disappear, literally opening up the entire side of your home to let the outside come in we still have a nice area right here under truss great place to get out of the sun have a bite to eat relax and then here is poolside nice vaulted screen and this is about 10 30 in the morning and you can see that we are getting direct sun right here it's eastern exposure so you're going to get the sunrise every morning See if I can show you that a bit. There, look at that. Nice vaulted pool cage. They have a, a just a lovely walk, concrete walkway all the way around the house to the side. And of course, that is the door that we saw in the Jack Jill bathroom that comes out of there. So they can they can go to that around the side of the house without going through the home if they want. Then we have this little walkway down to the waterfront. Got a nice lift and a nice dock. Can we get a look at your neighbors here? Again, this is in the Yacht Club area. This is just minutes to open water. There's that eastern sun exposure we talked about. There's a nice big boat across the canal with your neighbor. One of the nicest areas of Cape Coral and the best area if you're into boating. Because just a few minutes, you're in open water. You can go to the islands, do whatever you want. Of course, if you have a sailboat, you need to be in this area because you can't deal with bridges, so it's really sought after. This would make a great vacation rental home if you decided to do that. Now, here's your pool equipment. I think this needs a new pool heater. That is something that you're going to have to do with this. And I would also put in the, uh, there's your AC, put in a cell and make this into a salt water pool. Those are not expensive additions. Just come around here and give you a look at the front again. See if I can get you a nice profile. So if you're interested in this home, like I said, I think it's going to go pretty quickly. It's in a great neighborhood. Reach out to me, 239-645-2405. Make an offer. It's listed for a million dollars. I think it's a bit negotiable, and I think this is not going to last. Right now, I think in that price range, this is probably my top pick. Please subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. I'm really trying to build the channel and it helps so much. And remember, if you're interested in waterfront properties in Cape Coral, you just reach out with a text message, 239-645-2405. Give me your mailing address. I will mail you a packet about Cape Coral, all the things to do, and uh, also a physical boater's map that you can use to plot out where it is you'd like to live. Don't forget to check out my website, meetingsteve.com, where you can find out all about me. Thanks again.